If My People 2012 would like to introduce Steve Douglas, author, host of Lighthouse Report radio program, and president of both Campus Crusade for Christ International and Crew, Campus Crusade for Christ in the U.S. Today, Steve will be leading us in prayer for passion for the lost and evangelism. Some years ago, I was on an outreach project in Moscow. There were 300 of us, but we were subdivided into bus groups of about 30. The first night there, we met as a bus group, and each person stood up and introduced himself or herself. Now, one 70-year-old gentleman said that he was actually not a Christian, but was simply there to spend some time with his daughter. I noted that and hoped Jim and I could talk about this and his need for Jesus Christ. One day, we were sitting across from one another in the bus, in aisle seats. We started talking about the gospel, and I had a chance to share the four spiritual laws with him. At the end, he said he wasn't interested. Now, over his shoulder, I could see the face of his daughter sitting in the window seat by him. She was very sad that he had once again rejected the gospel. So I was motivated to pray that God would give me a creative way to get through to Jim. In an instant, it seemed that God gave an idea. I said, Jim, you're retired, aren't you? Yes, he replied. I went on, you must have worked really hard and saved diligently to be able to afford trips like this one. I commend you for planning ahead so well. He seemed proud of himself and acknowledged the truth of what I said. I then said, Jim, I'd like to ask you a few questions. First, do you think that someday you will die? He said, well, yes, of course. I then said, well, Jim, at that point, there are really only two retirement plans. One is called heaven and the other is called hell. So Jim, I just have one more question. I'm kind of puzzled by a choice you appear to be making. You're obviously a person who has planned ahead well for retirement. So Jim, help me understand. What is it about hell that you prefer? Oh my, you should have seen the look on his daughter's face. She was sure I had offended her father. But after many seconds passed, With Jim deep in thought, he blurted out, Nothing! I'm ready to receive Christ right now. Well, to say the least, his daughter's face was filled with joy as Jim and I prayed together. You see, the Bible is very clear, isn't it? In Revelation 20, 15, we read, If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. No, I submit to you, no one giving rational thought to the choice between that and heaven will choose the lake of fire for eternity. Which means that our compelling opportunity as followers of Jesus is to help people understand and make the wise choice. Please join me in prayer. Our Father, help us to see the incredible privilege that we have to show people the way to heaven and to an eternal, close relationship with you. Grow within us, Father, a deep and abiding passion to share the gospel with those we encounter. Show us how to help them make the wise choice. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying for our nation. Please continue to pray for today's prayer topic throughout the day. We encourage you to share this video with others who may want to participate in the 40 Days of Prayer for America. If you would like to view previous day's videos, please visit www.ifmypeople2012.org. If My People 2012 would like to thank Steve Douglas for his voluntary participation in praying for America. For more information about Steve or Campus Crusade, 
you may contact crew.org. That's C-R-U dot org.